Well, it's all been laid out again, and uh, we've got a mysterious blue ball that's appeared, uh, which wasn't in the first half. Could that change the fortunes of our players? Let's hope it will. Well, I can say now that an extra surprise has mingled its way into tonight's action. Rick is now wearing his special glasses, the ones he wore in the Eastbourne Championship. The question is, are they the big ones or are they the small ones? Well, it looks to me as if he's going to wear the small ones, um, which did give him luck, as did the big ones. That's a decision I'm sure he is, well, confident about. And the situation has changed now. The blue ball has found its way in the game. The question is, why is the blue ball here? But that's not for us to know. And he's getting lined up now for this, uh, probably a... Uh, a hit which will change the game. Oh, oh, brilliant! Yes, very good, very good style indeed. He is now winning by one ball. Oh, he's not messing around. Those glasses are giving him real luck here. He's dive right back into the action. But will he succeed here? What a putt! Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? That's what it's all about. Expertise in the field of snooker. Oh, and a third one. Could he make it a triple? A hat trick. What a shame. What a shame. Well, that's a remarkable left flush back performance from Rick. Now we have got to have him. Uh, well, Hackney friend, he's got to really bring some magic into the field to see what he's going to do. I like the lad. I think he's going to do well. Here we are. Nice shot. Woman. Woman, lad, now. Come on now. Ooh. 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 No. Never mind, let's go another chance. Because the other guy didn't get a cue ball down. Yeah, we we'll see. He's got a bit of a tight, tight squeeze here. Here we are. Here we are. Look at that. <coughs> oh, it's a long way. He's getting ready. Woman now. <coughs> oh dear. <laughs> what happened here? He's got a ball down and another one down. The wrong one. Oh, so what's the rule there? He's got one down. Well, the rule is simple. Yep. Um, he did putt the ball before Ooh. the white ball went in. Yep. So the other player, Rick from Eastbourne, yep. gets two hits, Ooh. obviously. But the, uh, well, uh, Greg okay. gets, the, uh, gets the ball. Who okay, cares? Need a lecture. And here you can see Rick from Eastbourne, Rick Norris. He means business with his drink. Oh, he's ready for it. He's ready for it, all right. He means business tonight. Snooker's a man's game, and he is proved to be a man. So, what? Well, a moment's confusion. A moment's yeah. confusion, the cue, yeah. The cue ball can't, can't be found. You can't uh, find the cue ball. It's just being solved by the official, and really? play is underway now. Yeah. And here we go, ladies. Oh, the white ball is back in play, so play can be underway now. And here we go. Oh, he's getting himself set up for this shot. No mucking about from our champion. Well, our ex-champion. But the question is, can he be a champion this year? Can he come back? Oh, well, um, a shame, a real shame. I'm, I'm sure he's going to be disappointed with that. He's very clear player. He should work more the defensive it, game and not pinch the ball in midfield air. I agree, I agree. Two okay. shots to Greek first, Hagdi, because he didn't get a ball. Not even hit there. You've got to count the white ball. <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh, not bad. He's got another shot, though. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Go for that one. He's going to need a quarter pull. He's going to... Oh, no. Oh, he's trying to be there. He's trying to be there. And here we go. Um, after that disappointing miss by Greg Feltz, it's now Rick Noyce's turn to uh, take advantage. Well, I can't mug him out. Was it a good shot? Well, Greg, he's made me feel a bit better. Now he's got two shots because uh, he's got one ball down. The other ball on the ball made that other... Make him another shot now. He's only got one ball left, but it's sudden death. Sun death. So we've got to get a ball in. Oh dear, he didn't do that. Well, let's go another shot. I might go for it. I might get it in there. Well, that 
Cool! Ooh, dear. Ooh. And after that mistake, it's Rick's turn again. The game's probably coming to an end now. I think Rick Norris can't really miss this. It's been set up too easily. And I think Greg knows it. Oh, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. He's only just done it. Only just though. Rick Norris from Eastbourne is back. And I'm sure Greg's upset. But it was a close game. It was very close. Until the end. So, Greg, let me just put it in there, lad, at the end. Not quite what expected. How do you feel, lad? You're not feeling too bad, are you? Well, obviously I am disappointed with the result. Um, it was a very close game, though. Yep. I made a few mistakes, but so did he. Yep. And I think at the end of the day, it was the person who made the least mistakes won it, so it was him. So, all in all, you're not too worried that your name is dead in a snook of field. No, because I can come back no next longer year. no longer a contender of any sort. I can come back next year, and I can win. And when I come back, obviously I'll be better, I'll have trained harder, and I'll be more ready. So I like to hear, good lad, he never loses his spirit. Oh, Greg, let me give you a friendly slap. <laughs> good lad, good lad. Well, um... Greg, uh, Rick, I mean, sorry. You won. How do you feel? I got blown police, mate. I told you. The magic was happening the second half. The magic did happen. I put it all down to the glasses. You saw me duck and dive in a different glass. I put the other ones on. for mm -hmm. no way, mate. It's not going to happen with those glasses. And then I put these on. Suddenly, the whole thing. I just couldn't see anything. I'm not familiar with this game. I'm only familiar with the downland snooker. So suddenly I couldn't see it. I wasn't freaked out by the... No, by the fact, no. But, but the, question, the question still is, were you confident that you were going to win, or did you just win? There was the odd jather at points, but I had the old glass of rosé. That helped get me through it. They, and yep. All in all. But you know, do you agree with Greg that you actually won it because you made less mistakes than he did? Not skill. I don't think I would agree with that. It's the sort of thing he would say... Just right. to make his name. So, anyway, we're going to have to knock it up. You won. You're yeah. happy. I'm happy. I couldn't be happier. And I'll say that to the camera, not just to you. To the camera. I'm happy. I won. Fair and square. And that's the name of the game. Hey! And that's Rick. He's happy. Well, here we are. Well, Enough a year. Here we are. Enough a great Lurie game. Here. Enough Lurie a year. Enough a year. Enough a great game. Lurie As I'm sure you'll agree, it, well, <coughs> it, it was a great game. <coughs> Although it was slightly flawed, maybe a few <coughs> silly mistakes were flawed. <coughs> it was still classic snooker. <coughs> That's <coughs> what we like. That's what we want. Stand here, boy. Look what we do. Throw in the open piece. That's what we like. Stand there looking at it. But do you, did you think this morning when you got up that the victory would be Greg's? Did it would. No. So, everyone at the end of the day knew Greg would win, and he won. Well, that's right. I think... Oh, sorry, no, no. What am I saying? No, of course he yeah, won. He's a very creative player. Rock the rocks to meet the field here. But Rick took Brad the day. Brad is a good machine. Rick took the day. He's a magical in the man. He's Rick Jack Norris Lee. from Eastbourne. He's checking it. Bring him through with glasses. That's a new one again. And oh, that's it. Goodbye for this year. See you next one. Remember, drink back to the vlog. I hope you put the camera up there, Rich. Right, just zoom in a bit. Yeah, that was all right. I think we got most of that all right. But uh, testing, we do our football match, aren't we, next week? Yeah, we yeah do you want to come around yeah. and do um, it? All right, then. Just rig that up there. I think that light's going to actually need like to the, be moved. What, yeah. That, sorry, no. That's right. And is the gaffer actually going to fix all this Maybe. set? Because I didn't like the way this was all arranged. Well, it was crap, really. And I think he's, he's going to have to move some of those electrics out of the way because I think they're just causing, causing problems. Oh. <laughs> oh, blonde.